Hey, what's going on everyone? My name is Jesse and this is the Auditorium where I react to video game music as a musician myself from games I've never played or heard about. It. This, this is one of them. This is a debut on the channel, a game called Tunic. And the song is called The Air. And apparently the composers are Lifeformed and Janice Kwan. Apparently kind of like a newer game. I've never heard about it. But um, also I know that Tunic is like a shirt or something, so... Interesting. And the title kind of intrigues me because Air obviously is, you know, the receiver of something from someone's demise. Anyways, this is requested by Kalanin over on Patreon, so thank you very much. Let us uh, dive into the world of Tunic. The Air. Starting... I think I hear some synth in the back, like climbing up very low. That was weird. I have no idea what happened. Thanks, you too. Hmm. Ooh. Piano, of course. Arpeggios everywhere. And the beat's already gone. As quickly as it came. How long is this song? Six minutes. This feels like a journey. Don't know where it's gonna go. Flutes, kind of. Or make it sound like one. It's got like a lead in note. Da -da. I can feel like the presence of a beat, but it's not there. It's like constantly teasing me.
song feels more like a living, breathing thing as opposed to like a song deciding when it wants to speak and enunciate. It's like having a conversation with us. That was cool. I can't even begin to imagine where in a video game that would be. Uh, bravo to these composers. You know, this is um, this is cool for a couple of reasons. I wrote a lot of stuff down here. So first things first, um, I'm really big into this kind of stuff for certain moments. Um, for example, if you've watched enough of my videos, you might have noticed like a galaxy light in the background is not on right now because it's daytime. But um, I originally bought that not to even have in the background. I, I bought that because I um, I like having like cool stuff, like lights, um, what's that one? Like plasma balls, like lava lamps. I like all those kind of cool things. And uh, originally I bought the galaxy light to just have on the ceiling. And then I am a big fan of just sleeping to really cool music, kind of like this while looking up and then just kind of getting lost in uh, in the visuals. It reminds me a lot of like visualizations from like Windows Media Player back in the day or Real Player, if you guys remember those. So I've always been into that whole kind of just like woo, getting lost type of thing. Anyways, this one was really cool because it wasn't afraid to do things. Yes, it was a song, obviously, but it kind of falls in line as well as like, you know, uh, atmospheric ambiance. It's kind of painting this. Thing. We have a very vague image here, which is just shapes and colors. It obviously could mean something, but to me it's just, it kind of lets you know that you can kind of interpret it any way you want, I guess. It's so, uh, you know, it's a canvas, really. It's the way I see it. As far as the mixture of the song, the mixing was really interesting. It was more warm, you know, it was, it was a little bit more bassy than it was trebly. So things felt like kind of spherical and warm like you're just in this bubble and that's which made it like impossible for me to kind of determine where it would play like as far as setting i mean i guess water comes to mind but that's kind of i don't know i feel like that's kind of like a cheap guess but that's that's kind of the only thing that came to mind is like um water aquarium something like that this one has a lot of dynamics there's a lot of dynamic playing in this one dynamics meaning um kind of the expression of dynamics as a word is so big it can mean so many things but what i'm saying as far as music it, in this case it relates to both the song and the uh the artists the composers uh, about their like eccentric playing they take the parts out they bring them back in they they do things where the song needs it and not just because it needs to fill up space there's no right or wrong here we were introduced to this cool little beat which probably most people were like um hearing this for the first time at least like with me they were probably like waiting for that but as soon as it came in you're like oh okay cool and then they just take it away so it's more like you know that's why i said it felt more alive and it's like kind of speaking to us type of thing which falls in line with what i'm Something I never really spoke about on this channel, which is kind of interesting, and that's the term phrasing. At least in the guitar world that's used, I'm not sure if that's used in other instruments, probably. But, um, for example, let's say you're a starting musician, or intermediate even, or maybe even advanced, or self-taught, or whatever, you know? You're playing an instrument, and you don't know exactly how people, like your favorite artists, know how to solo or add like a solo piece of music during like a rhythm section like how do they come up with that are they is it like music theory is it 
<clears throat> you don't need to know really anything to you know, make a memorable solo or something, but you you do need phrasing. Phrasing is basically, instead of like a clutter of notes or something, it's just you're thinking of the solo as a, like speaking. Like right now you're listening to me speak, I stop, I take time to think what I'm going to say, I say it next, I have a little cadence to how I'm speaking, and you start to think of it that way. So when you start doing notes kind of the same way, you'll, you'll just make something that way. So it's kind of like, it's talking. So instead of filling it up with sound, you'll play one or two notes here, like it's saying something and then stop, breathe, or maybe even like a conversation. You can have, you can think of it that way. You can think of a really cool guitar solo as like two people talking to each other or something like that, if that makes any sense. So this one has phrasing all over it. So not only is it, is it really dynamic in playing, but the phrasing is kind of unique and you don't really hear that too often here but it just shows me that they know what they're doing. And I think that's really cool. It's, I've always wanted to talk about that, but this, it doesn't really happen. I have no real, it doesn't really come up to the point where I've had to bring it up, where I felt like I had to bring it up before until now. So I don't know what Tunic is, but obviously there's a, um, <clears throat> I would say I'm a kind of decent judge of character when it comes to what I think uh, in this regard. And, th and that is, I've just heard one song, but I can pretty much tell that this game is very much admired or the developers really t took their time with this one and really put a lot of love into it. I don't I don't think you'd make stuff for a game that's just something to shoot out, but make something like that. You know what I mean? Like they really put their craft into it. And that's what, that's what I admire most, you know, the ones that don't seem like they're just meeting a deadline or doing it just to do it or obligation. It's more of just the artistry, you know. So, pretty unique and very curious on what everything is, right? The song, the song title is very curious. The game title is very curious. Uh, I've never heard of these composers, but they're fantastic. And I really like it as a, as a musician and not a musician. I think it's great. And it's something to put in a certain playlist that I have again for like uh, the sleepy kind of uh, nighttime vibes with lights and stuff. <laughs> Anywho, thank you, uh, Kalina, for that. And let me know more if you've played this game or etc. I would like to know. A big thank you to uh, you for watching and my Patreon members that you see here making all this possible. A bigger thank you to my uh, Platinum members, which get priority in my request in my huge backlog. That is Kevin, Patrick, Terry, Vanadel, Kalanen, Gardelaine, Mushimeri, Justin, Knox, and Triage 101. Until next time, dudes and dudettes, my name is Jesse. This has been The Auditorium. I will see you all later. <laughs>